What are the fearless steps in order to create more buyer closings and make more money? Now I know here at Fearless Agent, we wanna talk more about getting listings. The truth is though, some of us just really enjoy working with buyers. In fact, probably 30% of my business every single year for the last 14 years as a Fearless Agent has been work with buyers. But there were a couple parts of working with buyers I absolutely hated. And I would struggle through it until I found a way to leverage myself. But I had to find a way to walk people through the system. Here's the part I hated about working with buyers. And let me know if this is you. I hate showing homes. Now, it's fun to see different homes, but it takes like so much of my time to be able to drive out there, walk through the house, answer questions. And it's like you see three homes, and it takes like two hours with today's traffic. True or true. So what I had to be able to do is I had to create an effective plan as a fearless agent. And that's exactly what Bob has been able to help us do. So I wanna give you some of those rules, okay? Step number one is we're not working with buyers until they come and sit down with us in an in-office meeting. We gotta be able to sit down with them in an in-office meeting and give them the fearless agent buyer presentation. So that's step number one. Get them into the office and give them a fearless agent buyer presentation. Here's what's great about the buyer presentation. We have an introduction. We have the questions to really gain their expectation and their motivation. And then we lay out our step-by-step -step plan of how we're gonna do it as a fearless agent. This is really, really key. Because if you don't get them into the office, if you don't give them the presentation, you're not gonna be able to create that effective step-by-step -step plan to set the expectation with them. Now, with time, when you get really busy, we can really treat buyers almost as if sellers. Because when we get to the point where we're gonna show homes, guess what, we're either going to pass them off to another agent into our brokerage, or we're going to have one of our assistants be the person that goes out and shows the home. Then all we have to be able to do is hop on a 10 minute phone call, talk with them of what the offer is that we're gonna write up using the skill set that you're learning from Bob. I mean, you know what, buyers are so freaking easy. On a scale of one to 10, 10, this is the house that you wanna live in, one you never be in it again, what do you rank it? It's an eight, well what would it take to make it a 10? Oh, the layout and the location? All right, let's go to the next house because we can't change the layout of the location. Oh, it's the carpet and the paint that you hate? I hate it too. Great, let's write up an offer and see if we can get that changed. This way you can create more offers more quickly. And when you instruct them to say, hey, listen, I know this is one of your favorite houses. If, if this is a 10, how many other people do you think it's their 10 as well? A lot? Well, we better come in with a level 12 offer. And you come in with a strong offer because remember guys, not only is it about getting, you know, getting a good deal on them, that's what everyone wants is a good deal. We actually want to get them the house. You know what most buyers want? They, they want to feel like they got a great deal, but they really want the house that they're going to spend their life in. They're going to live there for three, four, five, sometimes 20 years. So we've got to be able to make sure whether it's 245,000 or 248,000, 20 years from now, 10 years from now, five years from now, they're not going to pay if they care if they pay 245 or 248. We got to get them the house. We got to be able to have the skill set as a fearless agent to get them to write an offer. Here's what I recommend you guys do because these are just a few of the steps is you got to get in the, in the office, you got to give that fearless agent presentation, you got to set the expectation through the fearless agent presentation that Bob teaches you, and then you got to be skilled enough to get them to write offers quickly. And that whole strategy is taught right inside of fearless agent. I recommend you call Bob and say, hey, Bob, how, if I'm going to work with buyers, how can I get through the crappy ones more quickly so I can work with the good ones and save me time and money. So go to fearlessagent.com, get a hold of Bob, tell him I sent you, and, and say this is only for you who wanna work with buyers, but it's going to be able to help you save a lot of time and money and effort. All right guys, we'll see you there.